Okay, so I am going to attempt to do a little tutorial on Wix.com and how to create a website, a blog. Um, so here goes. So you just log into Wix.com and create, um, sign in for, you know, create an account for yourself. And then when you first get started, there is a section of templates that you can pick from. So there's either um, most popular ones. I started with a blank template. There's really good blank templates you can start with that actually give you, um, you know, different layouts. Um, you can go into Health and Beauty and look for one that's kind of already made and use that as a template and just update it. Um, let's use one of these as an example. How about this weight loss journey one. You can always click in there, take a look around. If you like it, then you would go to edit this site. So, this is the template that, um, the free template that you can use and then update it for yourself. Um, it already comes pre-populated, so you would have to update all of this. Um, but let's say you wanted to use this one, then you would say edit this site. Okay, so now that you're on the editing mode, you can actually click into the title, for example. And then a little window will pop up. And you can edit the text. And I don't know why my computer is going so slow right now, but um, you can highlight this and you can say Jen's fitness journey. Let's say that's what you want to do. You can do that. Then let's say I don't want this cupcake here, but I do want a picture. Then you can click this and you can change the image. And this is going to show images that I already have out here, but if you don't have any images, you can start adding images. You can use free images from Wix or um, stock images that they have. So I have mine. I have them all categorized. To add photos, it's easy. You can just go into your Windows Explorer, get the folder of all your images, and I can just drag it in here. When I do that, it starts uploading. So let's say I want this one as my icon. I would click that and then click on change image. Okay, so then there it is. Um, you can make it bigger. You can crop it however you want to do, so I can make this bigger if I wanted to, like that, by just dragging. Um, you can actually make it a button, so if you want it to link to something else later, you can do that. Um, and it looks like, right now, this pay this website only has this home page, which is a blog page, it looks like, and then it has an About tab. To get to the About tab, you have to click on the Pages button, and this will be a list of all your different pages that you currently have. So there's a home, which is a blog, and then about. So let's say you want to update your about tab. So right now there's already stuff in here. So maybe you want to put a picture of yourself. So again, double click. You can change the image. So let's say I want to put a picture of myself. Horrible picture, but oh well. Okay, so then you can update what it says. Um, right here, there's actually a subscribe. 
um, section, but maybe you don't want um, that there. You can actually click on that. Um, you can, you know, whatever you want this to be for. You can add things in there, like little widgets, little, um, you know, apps. I think there's different apps you can add. Yeah, like a subscribe form, a contact form. Um, I think for mine I put um, contact, which is, I think, the same thing. I don't know what the subscribe form is. Um, so you can add whatever you want in here. Oh, so this is what the subscribe for updates looks like, which is kind of cool, too if you want to do like a newsletter or something. But here you could put, you know, contact me or, you know, whatever you want to put in there and there's settings. So obviously it'll come up with, okay, so what email do you want it to come to? Um, you know, what fields do you want them to fill out? Which ones are um, required? And, you know, once they hit send, there's a message they'll get. It'll say your details were successfully sent or, you know, whatever you want it to say to them, you can add all that to it. So now let's say you want to add a page, um, a photo gallery page or a page that links to your Facebook or something like that. So you can actually go and you can add a page. So you want to add a page. And you pick what kind of page it is. Maybe it is a gallery or or if you don't want it to open up directly to your blog, you can actually create a landing page, a welcome page. Um, let's say we want to just do um, I don't even know what we're going to do right now. Let's just do like a portfolio of pictures let's say I think this is what I used when I created my recipes and let's say we want to do recipes so you can name the tab recipes so when you do that you'll see it pop up, up at the top so now you have one of those pages so when you click on it to update it comes pre-populated already with stuff in it so you can either go with that or you can change it up. So this right now is a photo slideshow, but you could just make it an image. You could do whatever you want here. You can add, um, you can make it just a plain image. You can make it a gallery. You can make it media, like a video. Um, however you want to move things around, you can do that here. So let's say I didn't want any of this stuff here and I just wanted it to have my Facebook there. You can delete all of this stuff. Um, let's say I wanted to add social media. Oops, I think it's actually in the market. There's apps in here you can download. So if you go to the social section, you can link your Instagram to here or your Facebook page. So I think I linked my Instagram feed. You can add it to the site for free. It defaults to Wix, so you can right-click on it and go to App Settings. And you can connect your own account to it. I don't even think it's my Gmail. I 
to, to make sure that worked. Yep, so it's there. Okay, I think it updated now. So now you see you can make this bigger. And you could put, you know, in here, um, follow me on Instagram. Here's my new Instagram account. You know, whatever you want to change that to. Um, and then on top now, I can change it. Instead of saying recipes, you can edit this. And maybe I'll name it Instagram. So now when I do that, when I scroll up to the top, it'll be Instagram. Um, you could do the same for Facebook. You can add, um, you know, when people come to your home page. You can have, um, you can add some social media widgets or, you know, to tell people to like your Facebook page. So you can add that to it. Um, you know, if you have Pinterest or YouTube, you can add those to your page. And when you want to update your blog, so if this is your blog, you would right click on your blog and go to add and edit blog posts. Oops, go ahead and save. When you save, it's going to ask you what you want to name your site. Um, I'm just going to say not now. Hmm, it won't let you, huh? Okay, so let me just go back to my own site and I can show you what it looks like. Okay, so now we're on my actual blog. You can right click on it and go to add and edit blog posts. And this is how you would update your blog. So here's all my um, blog entries. You would go up here to do a new post. So if you wanted to create a new post, you would start doing it here. And you can insert images and insert videos within your blog post. Once you're done, you could save it as a draft. You could preview it, and you could publish it. And anytime you make changes to your site, make sure you save. And it won't publish to your actual live um, site until you hit publish. You can always preview it. Um, and whenever you're creating new pages, you can actually embed them under a current tab. So under my blog, I actually have two other pages that don't show up on my main menu. You have to actually scroll over blog to get to them, like my workout page and my recipes page. Um, you're only allowed one actual blog site, blog page, I guess, per site. So these aren't actually blogs. Um, they're more galleries, I guess. Um, so on my home page, I created buttons. So first I have a slideshow, and then I have these little images below. And I inserted these buttons so you can actually go and add a button. You can add a button here. So let's say you want to, there could be an image button or like a word, like a button that has a word on it. So here's my little button. I'm going to move it over here. If you click on it, you could call it whatever you want to call it. And then where does it link to? 